I was born in Bucaramanga, uh, Colombia, and I was I came from an orphanage in Bogota, and I grew up here in Arlington, Virginia, right like right down the street. I, I like meeting him and I like his murals all around the world. My favorite was the blue heron. And uh, I went to Oak Ridge Elementary. Uh, for all five years, even kindergarten, for six years. And then I was going to go to Gunston, but I got into H.P. Woodlawn. And I went to H.P. Woodlawn from sixth grade all the way to twelfth grade. And my favorite subject, I immediately think of geometry as like my favorite subject. I don't think it really was. I mean, photography was probably my favorite subject, but geometry was like this one class that I didn't think I would really like, like math. I didn't, was like a big math person, but something about like geometry was so cool. I like really grasped it, grasped, grasped it. I can't speak. And, um, and I even put it into my artwork. So a lot of my artwork has like, this is kind of a flowy kind of, like organic piece but a lot of my artwork has like lots of straight lines and circles and like I love kind of working with the shapes my favorite part about painting the mural was painting the clouds it was a, it was so high so I had to use a ladder I like doing the mural with Mas Paz. He has a very unique style, and I like the way he designed the fox. Um, I hope he comes back again. My favorite part was working with Mas Paz and working with an experienced artist. My favorite part was the finished product of the mural, because it, it the wall come together. I like working on this art because we all work together and it's a really huge piece. Hi, my name is Emily Wade. I teach art here at Hoffman Boston along with Brandy Britton. And this, le this year's legacy project was an incredible opportunity for our students. The artist Mas Pass grew up in Arlington, and so that was really exciting for our students to learn about and also to learn about his cultural background. And he was born in Colombia, he's bilingual, and so many of our students here can relate to that. Um, he also in, like told the students how he connects with people through art, and he's created murals in different countries around the world, and that was really exciting to learn about. And one of the most exciting parts of this project, too, was uh, the visibility of this mural in a central hallway in the school. So students of all grades were able to see it in progress. And it really generated a lot of conversations and um, just the excitement built throughout the weeks that he was working here with our fifth graders. Additionally, it is our hope that this mural can be integrated into the curriculum at different grade levels. Um, one, of my, one of my third grade students asked me a question about the animals in this mural and about hibernation. So um, we're excited to see how we can continue to incorporate environmental themes um, that are inspired by this mural. We would like to thank the Humanities Fund through Arlington Public Schools for providing the funds for this project for Moss Paz to work here with our fifth graders. Thank you. I've never seen anything like this before. 